This is Alex Cohen from Eye Physicians and Surgeons in Iowa City. I wanted to show an interesting case that I encountered recently while on a mission trip in Southern Africa. It's a hypermature cataract that I'm going to use an extracapsular technique to remove. Here I've made a contractible protomy superiorly and then using some electric cautery. Next I'm going to use a crescent blade to measure a few millimeters back from the limbus and then create a frown type incision. The creation of this incision is very important to ensure that the wound is self-sealing. So here now I'm using that crescent blade to dissect into the clear cornea. This incision is wider internally than it is externally, and this helps to seal the incision at the end of the surgery. A paracentesis port is created, and then vision blue is used to stain the anterior lens capsule. Next, viscoelastic is used to do, remove the vision blue from the anterior chamber. And then a keratone blade is used to enter the anterior chamber via that superior scleral tunnel that was created earlier. I'm using a cystotome to try to create a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis, but you can see as soon as I enter the capsule, a lot of this lens milk obscures my view, so I quickly give up on making that and just go ahead and use a can opener technique to open the lens capsule. But you can see there's really no counter pressure. Um, and then I go in with a BSS cannula here and wash out all that lens milk and you can see that there's just a little lens nucleus left and this is easily prolapsed into the anterior chamber. The incision is then enlarged with this keratone blade, just big enough to remove this lens nucleus. And then a lens loop is used to uh, express that lens nucleus from the eye. The Simcoe cannula is then used to remove any remaining cortical material and then the anterior chamber is formed with viscoelastic. Next, a three-piece lens is placed into the eye and the optic is prolapsed into the capsular opening. Next, I'm using the Simcoe to manually remove the remaining viscoelastic. And then the wounds are checked and hydrated and the contractible pertomy is closed.